We're back with just the host. I'm Ryan. Let's uh, try to be happy. Huh? Let's try to be a little happier. Well, I'm back with just the... W- look, hey, look. We're back with just the host. I'm Ryan. And I'm Brennan. And I'm Dustin. For another episode of Flight Tales. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, we got it that, that time. On yeah. sandwich, mother- now for the runway report. The, the runway, runway report. report. <laughs> all right, so... What's going on at the school? What's going on at the school? Still always busy, you know? Yeah. Hey, we're going to get a, uh, the cylinders came in for 6 4 Papa. I did remember you saying that. Yeah. yeah. Somebody yeah. asked about that the other They're day. They're actually sitting yeah, did in. Did you not see them? Uh, They're yeah. in those, the oh, those four the boxes. Cylinders? That's the cylinders, oh, yes. 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 <laughs> we'll have 6 4 Papa back soon. Yes. <laughs> it's a cylinder. <laughs> oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I've had a lot going on this he morning. Has okay. A, he has a hard time reading. <laughs> I'm, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> it's okay. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for calling it out. <laughs> Whoops. Oops. I thought Sorry. it said ill calendar. <laughs> Watch out for those ill calendars. <laughs> Somebody asked about why what they were like, why does a five A Bravo stay here now? Why where's six four papa? I was like, uh six four papa's dead. We we will dead. Yeah. They didn't they didn't know about it. I guess not. Oh. Yeah, R.I.P. Six Four Papa. Well, they should be watching the podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got a new engine coming for Zero Nine Echo soon. Two, three weeks, something like that. Who said that? The the engine shop? Mm. Yeah, we got bumped up on the... Oh, see? Look at you. You're all surprised. I was. Yeah. I didn't hear about this. <laughs> Ryan, get mm. stuff done. Yeah. No, I... Uh, Damn. They gave you a lifespan of two to three weeks to well, live? No, I got bumped up on the list because apparently oh. there was somebody in front of me. Gotcha. And then they said they could wait. So gotcha. then they So said, you were on the list to get a new engine. Yeah, I was on the list. And they but, bumped you up. Yeah, they bumped okay. me up. I yeah. thought this uh, somebody like looked at the engine and was like, you got two oh, to three weeks. Yeah, put them <laughs> up. He needs no, no, no. They're, uh, no, they're going to ship the engine in two or three weeks. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Who's going to do that? I don't know yet. We're trying to figure that one out. <laughs> Flight tails. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> I don't know how this works, but for an engine... For a plane, if you swap out an engine, can you put in a different model of engine? Oh no, you'd have to get an. It has STC. to be the same. Okay, yeah. so it's still going to be the the weird mag. Yeah. in that one. Yeah. Okay, you have to get an STC, and then well, I looked into it when we first got the plane about putting in a different engine, the same engine seven five two has. Oh yeah. So we'd have to get the STC, which uh, supplemental type certificate. And then find an engine, a brand new engine, <laughs> to put on there. Nice. So this this way is a little bit cheaper because they have they've taken an old engine and overhauled it and put new parts and everything on it, and then shipped it to us. And then we're going to send our old one to them, and then they're going to do the same with that one. Yeah, so yeah. So it's not like super expensive. Yeah, it's still it's expensive. A little bit che- it's expensive, but it's it's <laughs> <laughs> it's really expensive, <laughs> but it's cheaper. Than trying to get a brand new engine. I don't know why I wanted to. I don't know why we I don't, I don't know why I did it a minute ago. Now it's stuck in my head. It's just there, yeah. It's just there. Yeah, someone is currently on their check ride. Do you know if they're done? Uh-uh. They're they not? got through their oral. Okay. Yep. They got through their oral. Yep. They're so doing the flying. We don't at the know. End, at the end, we need to go check and see how... Maybe. Yeah, we're going to go out, take pictures, and then come back for the podcast. So, he passed. Let's go. <laughs> Get him in here. So yeah, we hope. Yeah. Interview him. Yeah. <laughs> take a seat, son. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is your post-check ride interview. <laughs> That's right. That would be All hilarious. Likes and everything. We should do, yeah. we should do that. <laughs> if, we should. If we're here. When so how'd it go? Yeah. <laughs> if we're here and they're willing, we should have them in here. Yeah. We're definitely going to bring in Alex. Yeah. He is definitely going to do it. Oh. Dang, you get to do it with your instructor. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Oh. It went good. This is the most <laughs> scary. How did it go? And how, did, how did your check ride Tell us go? how your check ride went. <laughs> How'd your check ride go? No, it went fine. Uh, the oral part. Well, wait, um, time out. Brennan, can you tell us what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Alex. Just, just who straight we were up. Just talking. We, brought, we brought somebody in here. How'd you check right? <laughs> so, we were just talking about Alex and his check right, and now he's in here. I, this I is am him. in here. And he passed. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say, fail, 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 fail. fail. <laughs> now <laughs> he passed. Loser, loser, loser. <laughs> <laughs> so, now you're a private pilot. Now I'm a private pilot. Woo! How'd it go? Um, it went good. Were you scared? Um, oh yeah. Were you nervous? I don't think if you're not scared or nervous, <laughs> it's like 
what is wrong with you? Okay. It's a terrifying experience. I mean, Peyton's a nice guy, but whenever you're in there and he's asking you questions, you're just like, don't, it's this, it's this, it's this, it's this, it's this. <laughs> I'm scared. And then he asks you a question that you don't know and you're just like, Duh! <laughs> and you're like a deer in headlights, or at least I was. And, um, what'd you say? Tell, uh, tell the story when you came back in, you landed and he was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. tell what you told me outside. So I was coming back in and I wasn't really feeling too great about myself. And we got back and we taxied and I parked at Owens and I shut down everything off. And as whenever we're getting out, he's like, you passed. And I was like, really? The most little girl. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can't uh, believe um, this. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean oh, yeah, 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 thanks. Yeah. <laughs> of course I did. Of course I did. Thanks, Peyton. I, I didn't doubt myself for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, man. Thanks. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. You're the first student to get pulled in after a tech ride and get thrown on the podcast. Yeah, whoa. 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 <laughs> whoa. Hey, don't mess up the series. Now you get out of here, boy. Yeah. <laughs> you get out. Go and get. Go and get. get. That's the line. <laughs> so that's what's happened with the runway report. <laughs> <laughs> that concludes it. Let's get some pre-solo advice. Some people have trouble with, uh, you know, understanding what flaps are used for. Not going to say it was the guy that was just in here. But uh, but if you had to say it with somebody, you, you know, might. I mean, you know, during their during their check ride, that's usually a hard one for everybody, you know. <laughs> Damn it, Alex! Okay. We <laughs> talked about this. <laughs> Don't do it again. That's every that's every instructor. That's like after the check ride when you're sitting in the debrief oh, and you're yeah. listening to the stuff yes. that he messed up. You're like, yes. Well, we hey, did that. look. They used to let you sit in, huh? sit in. Yeah. So like, you know, whenever <laughs> that's even worse. That's, it is, it is worse. Cause you're, it, the examiner is asking the question and you know, you went over it you're like, and you want to shake. throw something at the back of their head because, and you, or, or you want to answer, but you know, you can't answer. And then they say, Oh, uh, uh, and you know, you went over it and you definitely want to. Yeah. That's the whole toss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I do that in the plane too much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, flaps. Flaps. Tell me, what are flaps? So uh, flaps extend from the wing. What? Yeah. Crazy. So they actually do something? Yes. I thought they were just there. Do they move? They move up and down. How what? do you move them? And there's a switch in the plane. Uh, actually, depending on which plane you fly. Some of them are mechanical and some of them are electric. And in the Cessna, they're electric. electric. So that's different than the ailerons. Yes. 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 Different than the ailerons. Yes. They're on the inner part from the aileron. You got your ailerons on the... This is really close. You got your <laughs> ailerons on the tip of the wing and you got your flaps on the inside part. Okay. That makes sense then. Same yeah. like parallel to them? Yeah. Like it's, same line. It's on the back of the wing. Yep. That when they're you're flying straight and level, they're lined up with each other pretty much. Uh, so looking at the Cirrus here, oh. here's your ailerons and here's your flaps, and uh, the flaps are these are uh, actually electric on the on the Cirrus. It's electric. It's electric. It is electric. And uh, these are the ailerons. So yes, they are different. So you, what do you need to know about the flaps, right? Oh, mm. or Brennan? That's a good question, though. Oh yeah, that, that is yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, well, they extend. Okay, wait. Down. How did he? What, they extend, what was the problem today? They extend. They extend uh, down. We'll get to oh, okay. it. But they. But you know, most people answer. Um, it increases uh, your descent without increasing your airspeed. Oh, yeah. like if you ask, what do they do? Yeah. yeah. What? Why do we Which have? Which is flaps? the typical answer. Yeah. You know. Say it one more time. They uh, increase your descent without increasing your airspeed. Yeah. So that's the typical answer. That's all they do. That's the main purpose for them. Yeah. Can yeah. you swap those two things? Can they increase? Can they increase your? What did you say? They will increase, increase your, your rate your of descent. descent. Yeah, increase your descent without increasing airspeed. Can it decrease your descent while increasing airspeed? No. No. Like, can it do the opposite? No. So it only does that one. No. Thing. That's the purpose well, of it. And it so it creates. How do you not know? It it creates drag. <laughs> I was joking. Though. I know. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He asked a different. General, he asked they do one thing. He asked more than that, though. Gotcha. It wasn't. Yeah. Just there's that. there's more. There's more to the question. Like when than would just, you use them or something? Well, anyway, we'll get I'm to jumping it. ahead. Well, we'll get you to know, it. like like when Peyton was uh, talking about uh, 
um, during his last podcast where he builds a scenario. That's the kind of just the easy book answer. And so when he builds the scenario, he's trying to make see if you completely understand what the flaps do deeper than just grease. deeper than just that. Yeah. You know, it's not going to be, oh, it does this. Well, yeah. when would we use less flaps if you were coming into land? Would you always use full flaps if you were going into land? If not, why kind of thing, you know? Why? 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 But yeah. Did he talk about that on his podcast? I don't think he talked about flaps. Uh, No, he no just flap. talked about building a scenario He's for each no question. flap landings or something. Uh, yeah. I can't remember He did remember mention now. that with him. I, I didn't do a no flap landing with Alex, and he mentioned that he needs to do that. Well, I don't. But well, no, no I can't remember if he mentioned that on his podcast. Because I asked about it. Because I was like, Oh, about the when flap? When would you do a no flap landing? He's like, well, that's not the right way to do it. Yeah. Because he talked about oh, that guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we, then, yeah. I thought he, we were talking about the landings, though. He was talking He was talking about, like, the old guy that was teaching it the wrong way. Yeah. But that, that wasn't was about the, flaps. I think that was slips. What was it about? Maybe, yeah. Because it was there's a... there's a. Um, that's what it was. You asked if you would do a slip with no flaps, and he said, well, it defeats the purpose of doing a slip. Uh-uh. He's talking what? about... Because he was... I only know this because it was confusing editing this part. Because I asked, when would you do a no flap landing? And he said, I mean, you wouldn't unless, or when would you do, yeah, if they're broken. Yeah. 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 If they're broken. There's only two situations where you wouldn't use flaps. On purpose. On purpose. Yeah. yeah. If it's windy and if there's, um, if they're not working. Yeah. That's really the only two reasons. And he said he went to the school where they were taught to land without flaps. Yeah. 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 And he was like. And hit, and the the instructor wouldn't change his ways. Yeah, he had some guy come in and and learn uh, or do a check ride with him that uh, yeah. the instructor taught not to use flaps. Because I think he did. He was able to do it because he said, yeah. "Can you do one?" He's like, "Oh yeah, sure." There's a limitation on the Cessna, so a lot of people uh, will say, "Oh, you're not supposed to do fl- uh, slips with the uh, with flaps down on the Cessnas." Oh. But it's it's not a limitation. It's like just says to avoid slips. Now I want to go back. Okay, so what was the question that was asked that he couldn't answer? It's a little bit of both. Like I want to know the question because I want to know if well we got to get ha- into everything about flaps first. But like if he would have watched that. the last podcast, would he have known? I, th- he worded this question a little different, gotcha. a little bit different. But he should have known it. Like if you have an understanding of flaps. You would know the answer. Okay, so let's start with the question that was asked. Because if somebody watching, they might want to see if they can answer the question without you explaining it first. Okay. Um, Does that make sense? I don't know exactly how the question was asked. I mean, usually he just builds a scenario of yeah, so when would you not use flaps? When... Um, but didn't you say it was like, well, it's at you're, night and you're, you're low. You're at night, you can't see anything, you forgot to put your flaps in... You're 200 feet low, and you're um, you're too slow. What is dangerous about that situation? The answer is your your if you don't have flaps, your stall speed increases. So you're likely to stall. Oh, and crash faster, sooner than what you would yes. with flaps, right? Yes, the speed is be will be higher. So if you were low, if you were low and fast, uh, low and slow. At night, and you didn't have your flaps up, and you didn't feel comfortable putting your putting you your, your flaps, flaps down, up. Yeah. You'd probably go around. I mean, if you weren't comfortable with it, yeah. I mean, most people can probably go. Oh, put their flaps. Is in. that a comfortable? It was it like trying to ask him if he's comfortable with it, or was it? I mean, you could have just added power and gained a little more speed. And no, he was saying, "What's the da- what's the dangerous part of that situation?" Oh, okay, you're closer to stall speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so you could easily recover from it. You yeah. know, if you yeah. knew what you do, but if you were close to the runway, you were low and slow and nothing was adding up to where you're not on a stable approach, go around. But yeah, he wasn't asking that. And the answer is it increases your stall speed. So that could be the dangerous part of it that you, uh, yeah. He was right there. Yep. What did he say? Uh, He said, so with flaps, flaps create lift and drag. So, um, what he was getting stuck on was that, oh, flaps create lift. So if I don't have flaps, I don't have enough lift that's being created to continue the approach. So that is close, though. Yeah, well, and it's it, but it's wrong, though, because when I got into the, 
the uh, the room with him and then we started talking. I was just like, do you take off with flaps? Right. No. Well, you're producing lift there yeah. and you're still climbing. So, I mean, that's not right because you can still create lift and get back to where you need to with no flaps. Right. So, it's not dangerous. That's not the dangerous part of it. The yeah. dangerous part is that you're too slow and you're closer to your stall speed. That, that is close though. Yeah. Like with, with like logistically. Yeah. So therefore you're falling faster. So it's more dangerous because your stall speed is going to be scarier really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. But not the right answer. Yeah. Not the right Which, one. But it makes sense that it's wrong because you got to understand what you're saying. Yeah. That's why you ask questions like that. Yeah. And that's why most DPs are going to ask questions like that. It's because it's not... What do flaps do? Everybody knows what flaps do, but tell me this situation. How I mean, does he did it apply? that with me for my 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 CFI. My CFI, we went into it and he gave me a situation of, you know, it's a windy day or something like that. Why why do we use less flaps on a windy day? Or do we use less flaps? And I said yes. He goes, Okay. Tell me why. And I'm like, Well, so then you got to go in you, you got to understand it <laughs> yeah you now, just but you could go it. in the books and start trying to understand it and that might you, help you find the answer during your check ride yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. open book so, test so if you get stuck I'm, on st- I'm stuck on that like how yeah. does this if you're <laughs> stuck on something you can go look in the books so you it, now you don't want to look up everything but like something but, like this if you don't completely understand it and and he's, are you sure? Kind of thing, you yeah. know. Then you can, uh, let me look it up. But I'm assuming you want to make sure you know where in the book to look. Yeah, and, that's the other thing. You got to know where to go. Like just yeah. exactly, okay, yeah. here's flat. Oh, yeah. because you, 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 you thought speed's higher. Yeah. But yeah, you got it. Then the answer's correct. Yep. Like no problem yeah, with good. that. Yep. Dang. <laughs> you can't, and like he said, you can't do it for all of it. Like they're right. going to start to lose patience. They'll be right. like, why are you having to look up everything, right. dog? But. And well, I'm sure at a certain point they would ask a simple question to see if you can answer a simple one without looking in the book. Yeah. They'd be like, okay, you should have looked that one. You didn't have yeah. to look that one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But laps are. Yeah. Hmm. That's the thing with the check rides. Like they're open book. And I think some people don't realize that, you know, that. Stop. Some people take it, taking their check ride don't realize that. Well, they don't realize that they can open the book. Yeah. <laughs> they. Uh... That's on y'all for not telling them. <laughs> <laughs> everything's on us if we if they, everything's uh, our fault yeah. yeah well yeah well they didn't go home and study <laughs> study because some things we do cover and he still didn't or they still don't know it like you've done things with them and they still get it wrong like, how sometimes. many times do we do this yeah that's what we were talking about is like we talked about this 10 minutes ago yes. you said these words that's why I don't like sitting in on the check ride they don't let you do it anymore but like back in the day Mm-hmm. Yep, you want to like push them out their chair or something because you know you went over it. <laughs> we went over this. You just look. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes them even more nervous. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Start you, shaking. You, you're trying to spell it with your eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, being, um, you definitely got to understand the why. I mean, I don't know for my, my CFI check ride, I don't think I fully understood the why for what he was trying to get out of me, but I had looked in the book and understood it. And now I teach everybody. Did you do your, the private was with Ryan Roberts. Huh? Yeah. 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 But with him, he, he asked, he said, well, what, why would you use less flaps on a windy day? Cause I told him that's when I would use less flaps on was a windy day. Was that Peyton or yeah, Ryan? Peyton, Peyton. No. Why would you use less flaps on a windy day? I said, Oh, it gives you more control of the airplane. Yeah. Cause that's what everybody says. It yeah. gives you more control of the airplane. Why does it give you more control? Yeah, of the why yeah, does why it give- or he says yes, it gives you more control of the airplane, but what else? Yeah. And then you start getting into like gust factor and yeah. taking into account for gust factor. And you know, if the wind does switch, you have some type of wind shear and you're yeah. flying at a slower speed and all of a sudden your indicated drops too much. Yeah. And you're flying at slower air speeds, you're not putting yourself in a dangerous position to where you could stall rather than just flying at a faster airspeed to take into account that chance. Yep. So would you say Peyton might be one of the safest pilots to ride in an airplane with? 
I would trust my life. <laughs> I, <was> man. To, <laughs> I mean, especially with the story of the, you know, the throttle coming out <laughs> and the lamp to land. If an engine blew at, up, I'd want no one else. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Peyton has asked every scenario that could happen yeah. and can so, and gets and fails you if you can't solve it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's probably the guy to have. Huh? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I'm, I tell everybody all the, like, especially, I don't know. I feel like young people sometimes that just get into this are like super like, oh, I know what I'm doing kind of thing. It's like, I don't care. I've been doing this for a year. I'm going to listen to anybody that's got more experience yeah. than I do. Yeah. And that person definitely has 50 times the amount of experience. So I'm going to listen to him. Same thing with that. I'm going to listen to him. He knows more than I do. I guess. No, just ask questions. Like, if you don't think he's right, okay, explain that to me. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. I've done that before with him. Yeah. I just showed him something in the book, and then he explained to me why he doesn't agree with it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, that's what the book says. Yeah. yeah. If you've ever actually done it, that's the experience part. Yeah. It's probably one of those moments of like, no, I've been through this. Well, you know, and that's one of those, uh, like Peyton talks about when the DPEs get, get together and they start talking about different stuff. And then some, they agree to disagree kind of deal where they'll come to where they just don't, don't agree to it. Well, that whole thing with us was the entering the pattern. How oh, do you yeah. enter the pattern? Yeah. And I was like, the book says to do this. Yeah. I'm like, well, it's always a debate. <laughs> I yes, think that's what that's you said. Right. <laughs> you were like, it's always a debate. It's always a debate. Do. I mean, the only regulation part <laughs> of it is the turns. <laughs> yeah. So... I can hear Ryan. Oh, well, that that's debatable. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, it always is. I mean, it's been a debate since I've started flying. Everybody argues about, oh, well, you got to enter the pattern this way, or you got to do it this way or that way. I just don't hit anybody. Yeah. <laughs> be safe. Yeah, just be safe. I don't care how you do it. Just don't crash. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for Tower Talk. I was flying with uh, Hunter in uh, the Cirrus 782 Juliet Romeo. We were in the pattern practicing uh, crosswind landings. And there was a guy in uh, Columbia. And so we took off. And we're coming, we're going one upwind, turn crosswind, and then they cleared the guy in the Columbia to take off. And he must have, as soon as he got off the ground, must have turned crosswind and downwind. And so here we are turning downwind oh. and behind that guy. Uh oh. <laughs> Why are you so close to that? I almost thing? knocked off the Cirrus. Anyway, <laughs> so he cut us off. And then Tower was so like, like, were y'all like racing parallel to each other? No, he was actually should have continued out and come in behind us. No, no, no. The way it actually happened, did y'all t- both do this at the, like and go the same way? No, no. He cut us off in front of us. Like oh. he was in front of us. He, oh, yeah. Oh, like the like fighting he lived, words. He lived oh. off. Yeah, yeah. They were fighting words. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they were fighting words. But Tower put him like number four, so they cleared. We we came in on downwind, and then Tower cleared us to land. And uh, then he put that Columbia like Good. behind two other people. Good or for him. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> yeah. the guy in the Columbia stayed in the in the pattern, and we were like, you know, racing each other. That guy kept trying to uh, get in front of us again, but uh, they wouldn't let him. There's some guy here. I don't know who he is, but he flies a Cessna, and he always he goes from signature. And when we take off on two two left, he always takes it from Lima because it's just straight oh, shot. Oh, that's one of the uh, the <laughs> fish spotters. I know who that is. Is it? Yes, that's one of the fish spotters. Oh, it, yeah, and he always he talks like this. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, he never says the full read back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he never says uh, the full read. Back. Uh, they said uh, that's they, how you get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> they'll they'll be like, hey, you know, Quebec. Uh, it's something yeah, Quebec. Something Quebec, yeah. And he's like, hey, taxi to two two love you, uh, Lima. Cross two to the left at Lima. He'll be like, cross two to the left Lima. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't all of it. And then he'll keep going, and they'll give him the whole read back about like delete out two restriction, turn this way. He was like, clear to take off two to the left. He's like, hey, okay, you do your thing, partner. I guess they're just tired of it. They're like, yeah, they, yeah. Uh, he's probably it. been doing it forever. Yeah, they they got a bunch of hours and and they just fly all the time, all day during the season. What they do only they fly do? for six oh, that's months. The fish spotters. Yeah, the fish spotters. Sure. They only fly for six months and then they're off for another six months. 
Yeah. We, we can talk about Tower Talk. We, what do fish spotters do? Like, I, yeah. I, I was curious. Oh, I don't know all the details. I've never done that before, but I yeah. think I have an idea that they go out in the Gulf and they fly over a boat. And when they spot the fish, they call the boat on the radio and tell them where to go. And then the boat comes and catches the fish. Oh, ah, okay. And then they make fish oil out of it. Okay, that makes sense. That makes <laughs> sense. That's it. <laughs> then they make fish I, oil. They make the fish oil up. pills like you go well, get at I the never knew health who, store. I never knew who they were spotting for. So I was like, what's the point? You go out and Just you go spot. Fishing. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, you spot the fish and then you mark it down somewhere. Yeah. And then you go back and you're like, we saw fish here. <laughs> <laughs> By the time the boats get there, they're yeah, no longer there. Yeah, it's gone. But that makes a whole lot more sense. Yeah, that the there's boats a boat are out there. Yeah, there's boats out there. So, gotcha. It's it's kind of a uh, there's a little competition in there because they they're all competing to try to get the fish. You know, tower talk. That was not tower talk, but I guess it's the same concept. It's radios, but What's like. That? Oh, talk. damn, the fish spotters. Because, oh, yeah. bro, going to Abbeville with all them fish spotters. Oh, yeah. they You got to watch out for those guys. Or they watch out for you, but they'll. They do. They, they turn out really early. Yeah, but they're they still do. trying to win their game of spotting fish. Well, it sounds right. like they're trying to get out there quick all the time. Because when they, when they take off, so we do, we tell our students, it, get to 700, then turn. Because that's your safe turning altitude. Uh, they fly the same planes as us. Well, I'll tell you why they fly the way they do. Because they, they get like seven, 800 hours in six months. And so they're tired of flying. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, oh, just, just give, me, give me there. Get me I'm out not, of here. Yes. Bro, they turn out, no lie, as soon as they touch off, they get off the ground, they're turning. And like we were in the pattern yesterday and we were doing a turn. We were at 700. He was like, yeah, we're on the go. I'll be under. I was like, under? <laughs> I looked down. Sure enough, we're turning down when he's like turning right underneath us and stuff, trying to get out. We were going out and we were in the pattern already. And he was like, the winds are favoring three, four. I was like, yeah, we don't know that though, because it says winds are missing. Yeah. So we're going to go in on one, six. And if it's favoring three, four, we'll switch to three, four. They were. So we switched to three, four. And, um, when we came back around, he was like 10 miles out. And we, I said, we're going to go out on final, do a 360, come back in on, on final for three, four. And, uh, he was like, yeah, I'm coming in hot. I don't have an airspeed. I was oh like, oh my God. <laughs> what? That's, yeah. What What happened there? I That's, don't have an airspeed. You're not. Uh, I don't really, have an airspeed. Technically, you're not supposed to be flying, <laughs> really. Yeah. I was Unless like, it went out in the middle of your flight. Like, uh, he said something along the lines of that. And I was just like, slow down. Yeah. <laughs> he was telling me to hurry up. Yeah. I was like, no, j- just slow down. Yeah. Like, just get out the way. But they were. Uh, I mean, they're yeah. just trying to get in and get out, I guess. That's yep. okay, though. I get it. I, I respect the They're in a hurry. They're in a hurry. They're ready to get out the plane, bro. Uh, flying all day, I yeah. would be ready, too. Yeah. So what do, they, what do you think they do? Go out for four hours and then come back? Yeah, that's then- what they normally do. They go out for four hours, and then they'll come back in, and then um, they swap uh, pilots. So they the one that just flew gets a break for four hours, and then the- the that other sounds, guy, another guy goes out. Sounds miserable. Yeah. And then, I mean, especially during the summer, I mean, you got, it doesn't get dark till eight, so they'll stay out until it yeah, gets imagine dark. Imagine if you had to use the bathroom. That's what he was saying. Like, I'm, he's got gallons of pee with yeah. him. In the- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now time for today in aviation history. Where's my right brother's one? We today got you. in aviation got you. history. <laughs> We had to oh. do some, I had to do some extra work to find it, but we found it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. In 1905, on September 26th, after flying for 18 minutes, Wilbur Wright runs the Flyer 3 out of fuel and coasts to a gentle landing. This is the first in a series of extended flights. Atta boy, Wilbur. One for the right, brother. I can't believe, I can't believe he so ran much. out of gas. <laughs> ran out of gas? Maybe wow. he didn't know he needed gas. No. Uh-huh. 18 yeah, minutes I mean, doesn't I seem like too long. <laughs> I think he'd know he'd need gas. It's only been How a year. How much gas are these planes holding? I don't know. 18, 18 minutes, minutes is a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> we already said he was using a lawnmower. It does have 18 minutes worth. That's funny. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got 18 minutes worth. <laughs> Back in 2011, Boeing 
delivers its first Boeing 787 Dreamliner. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at me. <laughs> you, I saw you. Uh, all right. So as soon as he cracked, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Britain, I hope you caught it. Yeah. You're like, oh. All right. So 2011, Boeing delivered its first Boeing 787 Dreamliner to a customer, all Nippon Airways. <laughs> he did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. He chose this one. Oh my gosh. It was hey, look, it was at Payne Field in Washington. Nice. Yep. <laughs> As if that's the excuse. Hey, look, it was at Payne Field in Washington. <laughs> Nippin Airways. Oh, all Nippin. I could, all Nippin Airways. <laughs> yeah, all Nippin Airways. We're probably saying that wrong yeah, for sure. I, I, I don't know. I can't Nippon. read it. Nippon. 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 All Nippon. No? Okay. I don't no, know. That's right. I don't know either. It's N I P P O N. I I mean Yeah, it's Nippin. Yep. That's nippin. what it looks like. Nippin. That's nipping every day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> One could say we all nipping. <laughs> uh, we got one about the Concorde, too. In 1973, the Concorde makes its first nonstop crossing of the Atlantic in record breaking time. Though the record would go on to be broken a few more times until the aircraft's retirement in 2003. This aircraft went crazy. Now time for some cockpit comedy. What sound does the 747 make when it bounces? Boeing, Boeing, Boeing. (laughs) I was going to let you tell it. I was going to say, I'm sorry, I had to. It's so much fun. (laughs) Okay. What sound does the 747 make when it bounces? What sound does it make? Boeing, Boeing, (laughs) Boeing. (laughs) <laughs> it's still good. It's are just you, the sounds great. <laughs> are you are you ready for my dad joke? I'm still oh, working gosh. on that same, <laughs> same list. <laughs> so the, the these pro- are wait. good. These good dad aviation these jokes. Never get old. <laughs> Brent, the problem with these is that he he's all, using the same list this whole time. Yeah. And he started with his favorite. So they are going to get worse. Oh, as no. Go. <laughs> no, I'm just going down no. the list. So I started at the top of the list. Where, Did you read uh, that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. So there's maybe so some there's hidden gems in there. He's saying there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> if you started with the best, we were in trouble. <laughs> no, no. I have, I didn't look through all of them. I just, I just go oh, down the list. Even Ryan's surprised now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to hear him for the first time, too. <laughs> All right. All right. Why do stormtroopers make the best pilots? Why? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I know this one. Go ahead. They never hit anything. That's it. (laughs) (laughs) Because they're always missing. Like they never, all their shots miss everything. They're so bad at shooting. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's it. They are bad at shooting. Yes. That's they do be missing. They do be missing. Would you like another one? Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> give me one no, more. No, 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 no. <laughs> what do you call the movie where pilots fight to take off? <laughs> the Hangar Games. <laughs> oh. We shouldn't have let it happen. <laughs> I'm going to do that one again. <laughs> we shouldn't have let it happen. <laughs> and now the final approach. We ATC. have uh, ATC. We got the ATC meetup on September 27th, which will be next Friday. Yep. And uh, after my birthday. A- also, one thing I'm kind of excited about, we hadn't picked a date yet, but we're talking about it, is uh, trying to get some Ooh. Cirruses over here. No. Yeah. Let's some go. G7s, maybe a uh, Vision Jet. And uh, yeah, I'm putting them in the hangar. Let us fly. Well, I don't know about that. I, no, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. We talked about having them, uh, you know, in the hangar, plugged in, so you can see the avionics and mess with that kind of at stuff. At least let them look at it. Uh, uh-uh. I don't want the avionics. No, no, I want to fly. fly. No. <laughs> and you can fly. talk. And, we, and look, he's going to talk about Cirrus a little bit, maybe. Brennan, just come early. Let me do one touch and go into okay, Vision J. Maybe they'll let you go. Yeah. <laughs> let me do one touch and go into yeah. Vision J, please. He's like, oh, I'll come early. <laughs> just let me fly that anyway <laughs> we're, we're planning that John Jealous, maybe I don't know Dude. y'all getting way too excited about way too excited Ryan you shouldn't have said anything what? Brennan's gonna go back there and be like hey John Ryan said I get to fly the vision jet <laughs> <laughs> vision jet would be cool 
but I'm not expecting. But anyway, we're talking about that. That'd be cool just to see him in there. Yeah. Just be like, ah, oh, this, this is what it would be like if yeah. I had these plans. <laughs> yeah. Well, ah. you know what? If you went to uh, Cirrus's uh, place in Knoxville, I mean, they're, the the hangers are just like so clean. Oof. And it's like you could eat off the floor. Ooh. It's painted white. I love a good Everything's anger. white. There's no birds flying around. There's no cobwebs. <laughs> Point mm-hmm. test. Woo. That's it. If you're listening to this, you've watched the entire episode. If you've made it this far. Yeah. You've listened to the entire episode. Oh, we were supposed to re-record that. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know what I say because I turn it off after that. You don't even say it. I know it's I want the robot. you to say it. Life sales. Woo-hoo. If you made it this far, you listened to the entire episode. And for that, we would just like to say thank you, and we hope you enjoyed it. We would also like to thank Brennan Go for being my co-host today. If you have any questions about today's episode or suggestions for future episodes, just leave a comment or message us, and we'll do our best to answer. If you'd like to check out some fun aviation videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Owens Flight Training. Or if you'd like to get more information on becoming a safe, knowledgeable, and confident pilot, just head over to our website, owensflighttraining.com. 